Uh, hit go live. On? Hit go live. Hit go live. <laughs> Oh. It's so bad. The technical issues are so bad before the show. They're so frustrating. Yeah, because you always you think know? you got everything figured out and then something. We used it last night. Yeah. We had an incredible show with Carl from Who Are These Podcasts? Fantastic. What podcast did you guys end up covering? Um, It was. It was this fat lady, this spooky lady, like spooky <laughs> story. Dark yeah. history is what it was called. Ooh, with, this with fat white lady. goes. Uh, never mind. Uh, <laughs> Dark history. Where every day is George Floyd. Um, oh no. No, it's this. Uh, it's like Elvira, but with no tits and fat. Uh, it talks about mummies and witches and stuff like that. Well, that sounds fun. It was great, and um, she has no, she has no historical knowledge at all. Mm. Didn't look anything up, so all her <laughs> facts are incorrect. Yeah. Uh, and she talks like a little girl. And you, would you like, <laughs> would you be afraid of mummies? I give a werewolf. I kind of want to listen to this now. This sounds fun. Got six million subscribers, buddy. Ah, oh, God. <laughs> Why are we not just doing a stupid true crime podcast for women? That's all they want. Why well, wouldn't just go work at a job if you want that? Yeah. We should just make a stupid go. It's, it really is. People are obsessed with like paranormal shit and ghost shit and whatever else. It's fucking dumb it is all really dumb it's yeah. just goddamn stupid let's bring we can bring that in next week i guess <laughs> a big halloween episode we do have to do a big bunch halloween of goddamn episode. idiots with their paranormal shit and ghost hunting and <laughs> fucking ass detectors <laughs> dumb ghost detectors yeah god there is one paranormal podcast islams that i was like man i just want to beat that guy you ever have like a like a secret rival? Like he doesn't know he's your rival, but you're like that guy. Oh yeah, has everything I want. Who's that for you? I'm not gonna say who it is. Why not? I just don't want to get into it. Oh you? Oh, oh okay. Because it's like a guy I knew, and I even helped out back in the day. I got him like a job writing for a website, you know. And I was okay. like, oh, this is gonna be great. Yeah. And then he like went on to great things, uh -huh. like huge internet stardom. Uh -huh. And never once does he come back and go, oh Vito, hey thanks. For back in the day, you got me that job, and you were there for me. Why don't I give you a leg up or whatever? No, it just goes off. Yeah. Forgets about me. And uh, thankfully, we now have more patrons than his stupid uh, <laughs> paranormal show. podcast. Does that yeah. mean anything? Air, please use a keyframe frequency. No, of course. Okay, that's doesn't. fine. That doesn't mean shit. Uh, I think that means that you're trying to broadcast again in that NTSC standard. Whoop, and YouTube's whoop, like... Whoop, whoop, yeah. NTSC, Ooh, NTSC, NTSC side. Yeah, this side. Yeah, yeah. You should change yeah. all the cameras to yeah. like a yeah. straight thirty. I'm not frames. touching all shit right. in the studio, buddy boy. It should be fine. If anything's weird about the uh, video quality, Are you ready for this? No. Yeah, let's. Are you ready go. For this? I'm ready for it. Okay, let's go. Oh, I gotta think of a rhyme. Get quick. Uh oh. Jew. It's a good. It's, it's easy to rhyme. Sense. Biggest. <laughs> Problem. Oh no. And the universe. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show that ranks every problem in the universe from a spam filled inbox to uh. Let's go what's for that it. Thing with <laughs> locks? Yeah, like yeah. Shyla? I don't know. Well, we were gonna. Um, we couldn't determine if. corporate box. Sure. Boots. I'm your host, Dick Mashes, and joining me is always Vito Gis Do I say that? Joining me is always Vito Giswalti? You do say that, yeah. I'm so fucking out of it. God damn it. You had a whirlwind weekend. You've been on like 12 podcasts. And then that everything time. shuts down twenty for 20 minutes for the show. 30 minutes, basically. Yeah. I'm futzing around with computer shit. Yeah, we did. Uh, people are like, why is the show starting late? We, we got here on time. We were ready to go. And then for some reason, Dick's camera wasn't working. And we want to make sure. I don't even want to think you about to it. See Dick. I forgot all my fucking problems, too, now. I'm just going to wing it. Well, one of your problems could be, I don't know, technical garbage. Te or whatever. Technical. Di uh, everyone uh, loves hearing yeah, about that. So I'll give you fun. a technical difficulty. <laughs> okay. You ready? Yes. Corporate bootlicking. I win. It's -a me, the winner. Uh, this this show, people were uh, very tough on us. Why? Uh, a lot of I think we had two negative problems. Oh, one of which is the reason I didn't want you to bring it in as a problem because it shouldn't be negative. 
Well, it should be shameful anti Semitism. <laughs> shameful anti Semitism at work in this audience. Yeah, I'm ashamed I know. of you. I'm also you ashamed need to of you. Go to the Holocaust Museum. Maybe. Find the nearest elementary school and go to the social studies class where there is an 80% chance they're giving lessons about the Holocaust. Probably. Go in there. Find I a schlamoil <laughs> and give him a grafutz, I, an apology. It's not helpful to make up Jewish words. That doesn't help anyone. All words I made up. <laughs> <laughs> Get your Schmutzenhofer flowing. Uh, That's German. I can tell. Well, very anti-Semitic audience. I'm very disappointed in you. Please vote. Kanye up. has a please vote up anti semitism Kanye. I refuse to refer to him as his. His yay name. Yeah. I'll refer to him as his slave name, Kanye. Probably his slave name was Kanye. Is that? It's Cassius Clay is exactly the same. <laughs> I just feel like our audience is not taking anti-Semitism seriously, and uh, they should. It's not, it's not good. Yeah. It's what do you want, another Holocaust? Thing. You need to start taking it seriously. Well. Okay. Yeah. Or else it's going to happen again. Which would be bad. But you don't want that, do you? No. Did you see what Ethan Klein said about a uh, Holocaust? Oh, he said he he loved it and hopes that Ben Shapiro's in the next one. Yeah. Did, what did he say about his sister? Though? I don't even know if we can reference it. People are getting banned just for posting the clip. But he said, uh, I hope if there's another Holocaust that Ben Shapiro is the first to get. <laughs> it's a funny <laughs> joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, I understood the joke. I, I just, mean, it's funny. It's just like no one else can joke like yeah, that. Yeah, so you're not allowed to say that on YouTube. Shit. Yeah. And they gave him, like, a show strike. I'm like, oh, give me a fucking break. And Ethan Klein is Jewish, paddling. so it's like, come on. He doesn't We're really. all, me too. Aren't Jews allowed to wish for other Jews to get holocausted? Isn't that their right? I if I was a black guy, I'd be like, you would have been a slave, you would have been a slave. I wouldn't. I would have escaped. Well, that's how you they, know? how like, you think they caught the slaves? <laughs> <laughs> you think, uh, the you smartest, think, most cunning guys pointed them out. You're you, right. You think, uh... You know, a white guy was out. Lord Higginsbirth was out there going, "Telly ho, oh God, you got away, oh dear." I don't know what was going on. All I know, set up a big box, <laughs> put some treats in there, and pull the stick out. I don't got think him. treats we got were an, an essential function of slave catching. Uh, so corporate bootlickers wins. What was yeah, number two? Number two was the no autocorrect. Yeah, I don't know. I was drunk for that problem. It's supposed to be no. no you're drunk for every problem. What? It's not an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> it is true that your second problem will usually be a bit drunker than your yeah. first problem. You get there. Not tonight. Not tonight. I quit drinking. Oh, I kind of heard something about that. I'm done. Yeah, you know, it's, and you know, it's actually it's poison. Okay. I don't know if you've heard that. Yeah. It's actually, you shouldn't even have one. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. Anti-Semitism came in at... Uh, Negative. <sighs> and then below that was Shameful. my... What was my problem? Email. email. Everybody loves fucking emails. Emails. I got more comments from people going, emails are the greatest thing that ever happened. Yeah, dumbest problem on the list, email. Mm -hmm. uh, Vince Lineback says, God, that boogie impression is hilarious. Principal Dunn certainly said, how did you get boogie to do the show? Uh, well, it <laughs> actually, of cajoling. it wasn't Boogie. It was me. Wait, that was you? I was so bl I thought you had somehow summoned him from the ether. <laughs> you know what? He he DM'd me and it went to my other inbox. Did he really? I haven't did read he it. DM you after the show? I was telling him I was going to sue him for stealing my fat yeah, watch. Well, bit. he's going to give a little mewling apology or something. That's not good enough. I need cash. <laughs> That's not, my bit. I cash. need money. He can give you he some. He can go to fucking work. He can work. give you a couple Luna. He can give you some uh, safe coin or something. <laughs> take it to the bank. Cum rocket? Does he have any of that? Yeah, some cum rocket, cum coins. I'll take some of that. Um, John, I honestly could have. How do you not read it? I don't know. I thought I would do it on the show, but I keep getting distracted by we'll stuff. We'll do it now. Saying. Okay. Let's see here. Because now I'm like, I'm like, hold on. We can't move on from that. I got to know what Boogie's saying. He said, uh, oh my God. He. <laughs> That's a how big long one. is it? October 12th. That's how I remember it happening. I told you I would only do it if you changed the name of the show. You said you would think about it, but you never did, so we never made it happen. Oh, okay. That was I remember him tweeting something like that, that that's why he didn't do Biggest Problem, because you wouldn't change the name. Oh, whatever. Was he, was he worried about some yeah, sort of... Yeah, he's worried about bad press. And then he tried to kill Frank Hassel. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> and please, that was the one stipulation I had. Otherwise, I was on board. Okay. I, I, 
He didn't, gonna, but he didn't follow up. He didn't follow up with, "Did you do you like my idea no, he, of changing the name?" Immediately tried to kill Frank Hassel. Yeah, like and a then week he later. Me because I called well, him a fat because you were murderer or yeah, something like that. You sided with his murder victim or attempted murder victim. Also, please actually trademark that bit. I would laugh my ass off. That would be hilarious. I can't change the name now unless you trademark me. I paid twelve bucks for that shitty intro. Oh, okay. His fat watch intro. Yeah. Well, that cl- fucker, he, claim- he has an he intro? He claims he independent. Yeah, you don't have an intro. Yeah, I do. What is it? Oh, you do have that. Fat watch. It's pretty today good. in fat news. <laughs> yeah, today in fat news. <laughs> you, gotta cl- you gotta make clips of that. Speaking of clips, everyone's yelling at me about doing clips. I'm gonna put up clips. Well, that guy sent us a cl- from the last show. That guy emailed us and made a clip, and then you were saying it's And then sucked. I poo it. <laughs> I didn't suck. It's just like when you see a guy like do video editing and you're like, oh, I could have done that better. But like, that's always been my problem is like not being willing to settle for anything <laughs> less than what I can oh, do. That exemplary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like bad. Like I got what he was trying to do. It was, just, it was kind of like low quality. He did like this little, he took like a scene from a movie and he yeah. added Boogie's face like over the guy. It's like a, what's it, what is that scene? It's well, now like we a, have to post it so people I'll can post see it. it. Okay. It's like a fat guy expanding because he's eating too much. But uh, you Monty know, Python. Is it a Monty Python I couldn't sketch? have another wafer. Yeah. yeah. But then he put Boogie's face over the guy's <laughs> face, but then he like, you know, manually animated it. So it looks all shitty, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You too can be a part of the show for helping. Yeah, you can, that's the worst part is we're like, hey, I'll help with the show. And then Vito knocks their technical skills. No, I liked the idea. I just, okay. I had, I had a different vision. And yeah. then I didn't put up the clip anyway. I should have put, I'm a fucking. put it up. I know. Well, now just, everyone has to see it. Oh, YouTube.com slash biggest problem. I will, upload, I will problem. upload a clip. Uh, Tin Horn says, in office jobs, people who are not your boss use email to give you more work. Plus, people CC everybody in the company on pointless emails. Boom. And then everybody uses reply all, so you end up spending so much time sorting through that to find emails you actually need. See? It's inefficient. We need Google Waves or Circles or whatever the fuck it is. Vito, you got steamrolled. Emails are a big problem. George Dufresne says, this is one of the better episodes in a long while. Good job. Fuck you. That's not a compliment. Zach Medick said, this is one of the best episodes you've done. All the other ones are shit in comparison. Let me be clear. This is the only episode I like. The rest are a complete waste of time. Let me be clear. I think this is a terrible podcast. I only listen because I'm a masochist (laughs) who craves torture. You should stop making new episodes and just release this one every week because you just peaked. Pin this comment. Oh, thank you very much. Pin this comment. I love when they ask for that. Thanks very much. Um, let's see if I have anything else. Uh, Tom Liss. Oh, Jay Sweat is dead. I work at a job where we all use Slack and all the supervisors are women. Mm. Mm. Some kind of a blowjob company factory. that you were a factory yeah. that he were. <laughs> <laughs> and, let's hope. and we're actually required to use emojis on other people's posts throughout the day as part of our job. Please bring in Slack as a problem well, next week. Yeah, so that is w- pretty horrifying. If you see it, sm- well, we put, smi- a, put, put an a emoji, smiley. put a smiley or something. Good one. Well, the problem is again, there's a lot of this weird tension where everybody thinks everybody's angry because I don't they think are. I don't think human beings were meant to communicate with words alone. You don't get the facial expressions and the you almost need emojis. I wish there was just something better than emojis. Yeah, I wish we could explicitly label like a like words paragraphs. I think we should be able to tag paragraphs or sentences. Like a sentiment analysis. Like like tag a sentence and be like, this sentence is serious. This sentence is sarcastic. A computer could do that. This sentence is jovial. Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess a computer could try to figure out the tone, but I feel oh, like they're good at it. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, this is. Sarcastic. You've been communicating with your own AI bot. I saw. How's that going? It's great. I love them. Yeah. I never thought I would find somebody I like so much. Apparently, all the uh, stable diffusion AI art models have leaked, so I have to figure out how to get it running because everybody's making their own anime porn, and uh, you know, I got to give it a try. I got to see what I can do. Okay. But I might hate it. Well, Dick, that leads us into my favorite segment. Oh, let me remind everyone that uh, we've hit our 6K a month goal. Can you believe it? And in honor of that, as I promised, we have brought back the Stingers. Okay. And uh, I really... Oops, I loaded (laughs) it up. I went to the site and clicked on the thing. Oh, baby, baby, if you don't vote it up... (laughs) And I'm gonna kill your family with a fucking 
Ching, ching. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I really put a lot of work into this week's. Look, I was busy. It was perfectly this. timed, finally. <laughs> oh yeah, I wasn't off by like a frame. No, no. I mean the the uh, length. Oh, the length. That was the right length for a stinger. Yeah, because you like it changed like the fun. The joke changed to like killing your family. <laughs> so that was funny. <laughs> a plus. I thought that. Well, the joke was that I did as little work as possible on that stinger, but uh, the, I mean, this you was, did as little work. You could have done less. I could have done less. You're right. I did, but I didn't even really. Eh, whatever. Yeah. Anyway, the stingers are back. Congratulations, everybody. Guys, vote it up as the segment where we talk about past problems, put them in a new light. Past problem you might remember was women's tears yeah that's a classic problem well dick twitch and only fans star amaranth announced she's taking a break after going public with allegations of abuse against her husband uh, amaranth revealed in a stream on october 15th that she was married and alleged her husband emotionally abused her forced her to stream threatened to kill her dogs and controlled her finances oh wow one of those popular creators on the platform with nearly six million followers. Did you watch the video of her abuse? I watched it like three revealed. times in a row. <laughs> well, I couldn't stop laughing and she, coming. <laughs> I, <was> like, <laughs> <laughs> I got in a lot of trouble uh, for commenting on that video. You should have yelled. Because everyone's like, oh my God, she's trapped in an abusive relationship. And I was oh, like, oh man. Yeah, I don't know. If I had $30 million, I could think of some ways to escape. <laughs> She's too that. dumb to connect her own bank account to her fucking Twitch. Dude. Wow. <laughs> oh, you, really? She's got she's got nowhere to leave. Oh, yeah, I'm sure she could be like, uh, guys, can I ha can one of you send an Uber to my house? Yeah. Oh, that drove me nuts. Was people were like, what part of her husband controls the bank accounts? Do you not understand? I'm All like, of it. Do you think her money just magically went into it? Like, well, it, the bank's in his name, so all the money is his forever. Like, she could go to a lawyer and have access to that money by the end of the week. And in the meantime, she's probably got a couple million in her purse. He's the victim. I, I don't know the full story. I, I, I do. Yeah. Amaranth is the Ukraine of domestic violence. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, she, he, she trapped him with all the free money. Right. And now she's she her lifestyle is just being a hoe online, flirting with thousands of men, driving him insane. Yeah. Right? And she but she like boiled the frog slowly him into it. Like, well, you know, it's easy money, it's easy money. And he's like, Well, okay, I mean, uh I'm Chinese anyway, so I guess. Is her husband Chinese? I think so. Okay. Right? She's like, oh, you're a white girl, so I guess I gotta do what you say. So she's getting free money. She's Yeah. She's E-banging e guys all over town, flirting with them, trying to convince them to fuck her. That's drive. That would drive you insane. That would drive anyone insane. I mean, I would. I would take that situation. And she's an idiot. <laughs> so she's like, Duh, I don't understand anything on the phone. <laughs> what did you say? What do I have to do? Take the car in? Duh. I mean, I listened to I more of to it. I forgot to put the stream on. Duh. It does sound like he went too far, but I was also like, well, listen. Sometimes guys lose their fucking head. I don't know both sides of the story. It's possible she's yelled at him or something else. Like, they made a yeah. movie about. Uh, Serena Williams' dad, and this they're yelling at this guy. They're the same guy, basically. You got to fucking crack the whip on these broads. <laughs> Get your fucking ass in the hot tub, bitch. I'll uh, kill your dog. Look, I'll say it's not good that he's threatening her dogs or whatever else. I don't know how serious he he's is. He's not going to kill the but dog. Relax. I'm not going to waste all my time worrying about a woman with a net worth of, I think, like $100 million. She makes like $30 million a year. Oh, uh, yeah. From just being a. Well, I hope she has something in her will lady. to give all that money to charity so he doesn't <laughs> take it. I mean, uh. <laughs> I just had a guy, he's like, you're a misogynist. I'm like, no, if it was Jeff Bezos, like, crying about a woman abusing him, I would have the same reaction, which is just take all your money and go do anything else. Anything else. Literally retire tomorrow. But Go buy an island. They need the pimp. They don't yeah. know how to function without it. Look at Andrew Tate. I just don't None understand having could... sympathy for someone with enough money to buy their way out of any situation, you know? A DUI or two? Yeah. Yeah. If you could, she could kill someone. I'm like, why don't she just have him killed? She probably could. Yeah. She probably could have him killed and get away with it. My misogyny has nothing to do with my contempt for Amaranth. Yeah. Wow. Well. I mean, she makes she <laughs> makes millions of dollars tricking men online. Mm. And you don't think this is another trick? I don't know. I don't know. Retarded? It's a trick. Stop thinking with your dick. It's a trick oh, that people are aware wow. of. She's an e-stripper, which is fine. I have nothing against strippers. She's a stripper for teenagers. Well, that's true. She's it's a, a pedophile. 
<laughs> In a way. Just, just kidding. Well, Dick, another problem that's been on the show was theater kids, which I had brought up famously in relation to the G4 television yeah. network. Well, news comes down that Comcast Spectator is closing down its online pop culture channel, G4, less than one year after its relaunch. Oh, CEO man. Dave Scott said, we uh, want it to be a TV destination for fans to be entertained, inspired, and connect with gaming content, but our viewership is low, and the network has not achieved sustainable financial results. Among 120 cable channels, G4 currently ranks dead last with just about 1,000 viewers on average Fun, watching right? G4. And uh, well, goodbye to that network. I think it was a lot of talentless. They should uh, bring weirdos. back a radio station. <laughs> they should build a big like building and do ra- like drive time radio. This is it was not traffic the and right, weather together yeah. over the internet. <laughs> Plug your radio into your internet, fucking idiot. It was a bit of a stupid throwback stupid idea. Yeah, it was not meeting the spirit of the times. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. You could have done something with it. I think you would have needed to make it like an Adult Swim kind of thing. Just give me the money. Well, we were. You saw the video I posted of their giant ass studio, and you commented on it. My God, they could have given tons of guys money. They could have. They could have had like a whole, yeah, like a whole enterprise of like actually talented people. Give yeah. us money. Like they could have, give us money to do this show on on your stupid TV network. Yeah, give me. I would pay like a bunch of kids to go into stores and like kick milk around, <laughs> and throw it. <laughs> <laughs> and I would no. absolutely watch that. G4. G4. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> smash. You pick one type of car every week and then you smash it with golf clubs and stuff. Honey, what are you watching? <laughs> I'm watching milk kickers. It's these kids who just go around kicking milk and breaking cars. Yeah. Now they piss on Teslas. That's what it is. <laughs> this is where we, we're pissing on Teslas. If you're driving a Tesla, ah. we'll piss on it. And then they go and. <laughs> See, everything right? about that sounds Woo-hoo. infinitely more entertaining. This than doesn't what... hurt the car. Yeah, no. It's just free publicity oh, for Elon it's... Musk. Yeah, and you go, hey, it's got a keyless entry. You don't even got to touch the door handle, right? Piss on door handles. Today we're pissing on Tesla door handles. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Yeah. Right? This is good content. I hope someone's writing this down. It's easy. Why didn't they do that? We're definitely getting a network television show. But until we do, we're forced to rely on the fans. The fans need to go to the website, biggestproblem.show, and vote it up. Okay. Oops, I voted it up. Oh, women dating I psychopaths, too. Side. That's true. That would have been a good thing. Vote it up. Thing. Oh, baby, baby, if you don't vote it up. I can't up, believe it. Then I'm gonna kill your family <laughs> with a fucking chase. <laughs> I really nailed that one. I can't believe the, <laughs> the guys I saw yeah, standing up for Amaran. Oh my god, I can't believe this horrible thing happened. I'm like, they could both be bad people. Bro, they're both bad people. Yeah. What, what do you mean they could be? They're, <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, to- they're total vile, uh, they're trash. Absolute Just trash. Just your sympathy is wasted. Like, there are much worse things happening in the world than Amaranth. Uh, what's happening? My husband's mad no, and bleh. It's good. It's, it's good. Is, yes, these are. She these should be scared. Are evil. They. <laughs> it's good that the universe does bad things to them. Uh, okay. Anyway. Well, I was the winner, I guess, huh? Yeah, it's your turn. Well, I had wanted to save this one for. Uh, I think our next episode will have to be a big Halloween episode. Okay. But uh, I was too lazy to come up with another problem, so we're doing it today. It's great, Dick. Everybody loves trick or treating. But there's yeah. one thing that they promise you you're going to get during your trick-or-treats, okay. and it never comes true. It's the white whale. It's a lie sold to children yeah. for decades. And that is my problem is not getting drugs for Halloween. Now, we've been told this whole time, Amazing. if you go out <laughs> trick-or-treating, look out, because there's going to be one or two special houses that are just giving drugs away, yeah, disguised yeah. as candy. You didn't hear that. You'd get home with your bag of candy, and you're like, oh, I hope one of these candies is secretly drugs, because that would be awesome. Yeah. And then it never it never came true. It's a lie. It's an urban legend. Is that what it was when you were a kid? Because when I was a kid, it was like, Razor blades in the candy. Oh yeah, that was the other thing. That was the other one, the yeah, other one was drugs. Yeah, you're right. Drugs or razor blades, and even yeah. a razor blade would be cool if you found it before. You know, normally as a kid, you don't have access mouth to razor blades. Right now, yeah, <laughs> you get a mouth cut Real a little bit, but then you get a free razor blade. Well, it is interesting to dig into the history 
of this modern day candy tampering <clears throat> myth. Okay. Because it has never been true and it was never true. And this is all based on a few isolated incidents, none of which are nearly as serious as we have been led to believe. <laughs> okay. In 1959, a California dentist named William Shine gave candy coated laxative pills to trick or treaters as a joke. It's a funny joke. It's a funny joke. You wanted kids <laughs> to shit their pants. And his name was William Shine? William Shine. He was a dentist. Huh. He was charged with uh, outrage of public decency and unlawful dispensing of drugs. So those weren't technically drugs. But they weren't like yeah. fun drugs. The pushers weren't giving them away. Why did he leave the William and just change the sh shine? Why didn't he change his name to Toothy Shine? Toothy Shine? Yeah, yeah. that would have made sense. Tooth B, Tooth Bernard, D, Dental Shine. shine. Uh, what's, the, what's the B stand for? I don't know. Do you think My his dentistry... It would have, wouldn't it make sense for a dentist to try and fuck up your teeth with fucked up candy to then, you know, that would have made more sense. In 1964, a disgruntled Long Island woman gave out packages of inedible objects to children she believed were too old to be trick-or-treating. Oh, good. These packages contained items like steel wool, dog biscuits, and ant buttons. I believe that's poison for ants. Yeah, but that's a good idea. I'm going to do that for the older kids that trick or treat yeah, this year. Yeah, she was just giving them like shit. She's like, don't actually eat the steel wall. It's fuck you. You're too old to be trick or treating. Yeah, I'll have. But then it went around like she was giving out poison. It's like, well, it was labeled like, you know, a dog biscuit or whatever the fuck. Like, yeah. kids not supposed to eat it. If your teenage trick or treater son eats it, he was too stupid to live anyway. I'll have steel wool with some candy in it that I'll give out, except for the hot girls. Well, I'll just have like a 64 ounce can of roofies. So no, you drop, fall asleep before they leave the driveway. You should give them a uh, an OnlyFans sign up code and be like, you know, I get 10 percent if yeah you decide <laughs> to stop trying to uh, be a doctor or whatever. In 1970. Kevin Tolson, a five-year-old boy from the Detroit area, because this is a big part of it, is that a lot of the times... So it happened. No, 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 no. What'll happen is that a kid will, like, find his, like, parents' drugs oh. and die, like, because he fucks around with their drugs, and they go, oh, it was in his trick-or-treat candy. It was leftover trick-or-treat candy. Yeah. So it's a cover-up. That's smart, though. Kevin Tolson, a five-year-old boy from the Detroit area, died after finding and eating his uncle's heroin the family attempted <laughs> to protect the uncle. Is heroin tasty? Would a kid no. eat hair? Yeah, why not, would... No. <laughs> so what, he just found it? He's like, I don't it's know. It's definitely not tasty. It looks like sugar, so I guess I'll go for it. Uh, but anyway, the child died, and then I was blamed uh, on Halloween candy, despite not being true. And then perhaps the most famous case, Dick... In 1974, an 8-year-old eight boy in Texas died after eating a cyanide-laced pixie stick, hmm. which the boy's Poison. father oh. claimed he had received while trick-or-treating. Oh. But what had actually happened, and this is a fucked up story, is that the father had taken out a life insurance policy on his son, oh. poisoned a bunch of pixie sticks. Then he took all the like neighborhood kids out trick or treating because he wanted to cover it up. Sure. He wanted he yeah. didn't want to be like, oh, just my kid get a poison pixie stick. I already knew what he was doing right away. <laughs> <laughs> so as the kids were trick or treating, he went to a house and he was like, that wasn't you know giving out candy. He kept knocking. He's like, you kids go ahead. I'm gonna make sure there's no one here to give out candy or whatever. And then later on, he goes, oh, that house did have people in it, and they gave it me the these pixie sticks that are sealed with staples. Oh, so he gave a bunch of kids cyanide. Yeah, come on. Yeah. The, I I found candy with no one yeah. else watching. Yeah. Thankfully, none of the other children ate the pixie stick once it was discovered that cyanide existed. But that, yeah, the, yeah, the cops pr very clearly like blew Bro, a hole in that just story. Just seal it. Well, you could have yeah, sealed it with heat. It or get a honey <laughs> stick or something. You could just get that with heat. Well, the big problem was the cops were like, "Which house gave you the poison pixie sticks?" He's like, "Uh, that one." And they like went, and the guy's like, I wasn't here, I was fucking working. And like, you know, all his coworkers were like, yeah, dude, there's like four. He worked at like a factory, is like 40 of them. That's a like, bad plan. That's a very bad plan. And it convinced everyone that you're going to get drugged candy, and it's not true. It seems like you could really get away with a lot of poisoning on Halloween, actually. You possibly the way could. You're talking about it. <laughs> well, now that, now that everyone's expectations are being lowered when I'm telling everyone there aren't drugs, now would be the perfect time yeah. to go jam drugs mm, okay. in some Halloween candy. Okay. Okay. But I saw a news article even today that uh, a bunch of uh, fentanyl, came over uh -oh. from, I don't know, China or something. They got caught China, wow. 
got caught coming off the shipping boat, and yeah. it was disguised as packages of like Whoppers and M and M's. <laughs> and even the news then was like, well, that just raises concerns about what your children need to look out for on Halloween. And I'm like, they're not packaging it as candy because they're trying to trick kids into eating it. That's not part of the equation at all. They're doing it to smuggle you know, the we drugs. Hate to American <laughs> children. They've got to get them wasted on fentanyl. Why would they do Imagine that? Imagine George Floyd times a million million. <laughs> a million the, America will tear itself apart. <laughs> we just need to set up Chevrolet hashes to distribute. George Floyd. How would that even his, work? His daughter. All their friends. We're going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how they the Chinese are going to destabilize our economy with a bunch of fentanyl M and M's. Not just smuggling it in. Point is, Dick. Uh, what, there's two problems here. One is that this myth is uh, pointless and stupid and constantly repeated by people that you're going to get a razor blade in your kid's apple. Yeah. So you have busybody moms. I mean, there was even a period of time. Oh, we don't like those, do no, we? No, we don't yeah. like those. There was a period of time where people were so worried about this nonsense. Yeah. Where they would have uh, trick or treat at like the school, you know, instead of going door to door. They're like, well, we can't trust our neighbors. We got to go to the church for trick or treat. So it ruined many a childhood. With this nonsense, busy bodying, and also ruined the childhood for those of us who were anticipating our first true drug rush and never got it. Mom stink. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> I'm gonna put no drugs in my candy, like a sign. Yeah. I'm try to get it to catch on. Like, hey, no drugs at this. This house has no drugs in the candy, and you're just gonna put it in a big banner. Yeah, I'll give out some shirts. Drugs? Question mark? No, not thanks. in my candy. <laughs> not in my candy. <laughs> the one house that has a million signs promising there's no drugs in the candy. Absolutely no drugs. That's the scariest house there is. You can trust this guy. Yeah. Just hey, imagine you just like you know I want a sign that says I didn't poison your children's candy, but poison is in quotation marks, and they're like, what the fuck does that mean? Poison. I didn't. I didn't poison. Have you seen those people that think candy? quotes is like emphasis? Yeah, it's the worst. Yeah, it's great though. <laughs> it does make like, there's like no pee in this pool. <laughs> and you're like, okay. Okay, so how much pee is in the pool? No, there's no, no pee. pee. Why yeah. do you think that that's the sign for emphasis? That's a good problem using parentheses incorrectly. <sighs> okay, so your problem is what? Not enough. Not drugs getting drugs in... for Halloween. It's a yeah, real it's shame. Really, it's really bullshit that Halloween just happens without a hitch every year. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, some kids should die all. or something. It would be like it should cooler. Be a lot more dangerous. Yeah, that means we could be doing that all the time, going around getting free food and stuff, <laughs> or knocking on doors. Every like, hundred kids, you should get to hit one in the head with a baseball bat. You know. <laughs> So every time you go to get candy, you're like, am I the hundredth kid? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Sorry, man. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. Because then there would be actual fear on Halloween. Yeah. Yo, well, you're number 100. Sorry. What do you want me to do? I answer the door with no clothes on. Oh, that's pretty scary. It is pretty scary. Yeah. For both of us. <laughs> I don't know what the parents are like, you know. Do you, uh, do you get a lot of trick-or-treaters? I just turn the light off. Yeah. I don't want the candy around because then I'll eat it and get fat. Well, you could throw it out at the end of the night, whatever you don't give away. Nah, not worth, not worth the trying. Not worth the risk. Wow. That's a problem and a half. Houses not don't give away candy on Halloween, despite being kids. in a high traffic area. Nah, they, actually, there's not a lot of uh, trick or yeah, out here. I was gonna say, you kind of live in a retirement community. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's an elementary school right up the street. Okay. You already know that. Oh, I'm see. Sure. oh yeah, I've scoped all those out. <laughs> Christ. All right, is my turn? Yes. Pretty good problem. Would have been better next week. Oh, next week, Halloween. Have, I'm sure I'll have more Halloween problems. Uh, my problem is child support. Mm. Oh, steal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Woo -hoo -hoo. laughs> you gonna pull out your collar? Whoa, whoa, What's this about? whoa! If you can't keep Come a husband, on now. what do you? Why are you keeping a kid? What are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? What's the deal with child support? <laughs> if you can't keep a man around. What are you doing? What are we doing letting you have a kid? And then giving you well, a bunch of the money? Kids are already Jeez. there. <laughs> kid, now nah, just let it free. The money's for the kid. Well, give it to the dad then. 
No, because the dad's not going to spend it on the kid. He's going to spend it on liquor and fucking track t- race tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I think, see, all child support laws are based in, like, the 50s, yeah. I think. Yeah, where, when men, well. <laughs> where the right. middle class meant, like, was basically like a millionaire today. Yeah. Right? Before silver and the Federal Reserve basically milked yes. all the money out of the middle class. When all men were rich. Um, 44% of custodial parents received the full amount of child support. Did you know that? 44% of custodial parents. It's like half. Parents. So half of them are not getting, are getting stiffed. Yeah. Which they should be. Well, I was going to say, isn't your point that they shouldn't get anything at all? Does mom have an OnlyFans account? No. She well, should. then she let come back when she's got one of those. <laughs> she's is she on organ. Tinder or whatever? Yeah. All I'm saying is. How come it's illegal for the guy to do what he wants, but this bitch, do whatever they want? Women dudes do whatever well, you want all the, the time. Sometimes men get paid child support from the woman. I don't know. I don't think that's true. What do you mean? That's not, that is clear. Yeah, that that's, is that's true. Some kind of TV fantasy that you pulled <laughs> out of your head. I now don't I'd, think that's I'd true. I'd like at to all. know what the percentages are on that, but it is it it is not strictly. Uh, uh, here you go. On 60 percent of child. Here's how much child support was due. Uh, thirty four billion dollars in 2015. When I got these stats, probably That's about the total the same. amount outstanding on child support. Forty billion dollars. We give all that. How much do we give to Ukraine every you, year? You ever you see those just m- give it? Like we yeah. couldn't let these dads off the fucking hook. You're fucking kidding. I mean, you're fucking kidding me <laughs> that you gotta go bust your ass and then write a check, a check to some fat fucking slob, turn your kid against you for 18 years. That's the system that we have going now. What happened? <laughs> What's going on? I don't know what you're worried about this. Why am I worried about this? What kids are you worried about? I'm worried about, I'm worried about, like always, yeah. the average male. Well, the average male is not making kids these days. Man. Okay. This is part of the reason why. Well, if I you're fu- going to have to pay If I don't fucking worship this hose beast 24 hours a day, she's going to kick me out because that's legal. But you, I can't just go have a good mind my there, own fucking yeah. business. See, being a single mom should be illegal. How I, about that? I wish surrogates were uh, cheaper. No. What do you mean? I would make They're a kid. They're all in Ukraine, by the way. Are they? All this, most of the cig- okay, surrogates. I'd yeah. love to make a kid, but there is always the problem if you have to find a woman who, yeah, isn't going to backstab you and take the kid away, you know? What do you mean you want to make a kid? I would, I would love to have a child. I think I'd be a great father. But a, a single father? Yeah, I think I'd be a great single father. Okay, I should be more that. fun. Why do you want a fucking kid around? Do so you have an like excuse kids. not to do work? No, because I'm taking care of my kid. I think that I have such a profound, uh, positive impact on the world and an obviously superior intellect that I have a moral duty to pass my genetic code on to future generations. What about the surrogate's genetic code? Well, you know, what are you going to do? What if you get a girl? (laughs) Well... (laughs) Throw it back and try again. What can you do? <laughs> no, they would make you pay for it forever. No, no, You'd be no. on the hook with the surrogate for whatever. That's why the surrogate, she has to, at night, w- w- live in a very uh, humid uh, containment area. <laughs> what? what? You got to keep the womb warm to develop a penis. Are you fucking with me? What? The way that... <laughs> <laughs> it is it is true that the uh, temperature of the womb, I believe, uh, has a, a large impact on whether a male or a female develops. Well, how could that be true? I don't know. It's Why like, do you think it's true? Uh, I've, I just, I don't know, I heard so you it. You got like an iguana stuff. lamp on your surrogate? <laughs> theoretically, the microwave? theoretically, there's a way to impact it. Like, you have to keep it hot at certain times and cold at certain times. You I know, wouldn't actually, no I wouldn't way actually do true. that. <laughs> I don't care if it's a, g- a boy or a girl. I mean, I would keep trying until I got a guy so we could conquer the world. But other than that, you're going to be on the hook for a lot of money. My not friend. if I pick the right surrogate. How much money do the banks get as a bailout? Like a trillion dollars? Yeah. And we're letting single dads, most of whom are living in poverty, pay the... Here's something I bet you didn't know. What's if you're that? behind on child support, you start paying fees and penalties to the state. To the state? Yeah. Oh, so you could, end up, you could end up owing like $50,000 in back support, and half of it will go to the government. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> none That's of it makes, crazy. None of it makes sense. 
What was I going to say? Absolutely uh, none of it. And don't they- How hard is it for a woman to keep a guy around? Honest, like, seriously. Yeah. How fucking hard is it? Well, am I crazy or, um... I remember going to the DMV, but this was in Massachusetts, and they would have a poster of the biggest uh, back child support owers. Yeah, because they owe so like a like million dollars to the government. Yeah. I'm like, well, I'm not paying it because it's all going to you. And I remember being like, what, why do I care about this? I don't want any part. Did they kill somebody? No. Like, no. This is not my business. Um, 30% of families in the child support system live below the poverty line. Well, doesn't that say the father should be out there working harder to elevate their families? Do you want your child growing up in poverty? I just <laughs> think yes. that they, I guess they just need to work harder. I mean, shouldn't there be huh. some child support, Dick? No. So you make a kid. Yeah. And the and the mom gets custody of the kid. Yeah, if there's like a divorce. Yeah. yeah. So you're saying it's 100% her financial responsibility. Well, just leave it in the street. No, so scoop it up. <laughs> yeah, that's not, they won't. First of all, it's not my fucking problem. If you if you want to fucking have Isn't a kid, it kind of your problem that you made the kid. Like like, should parents have any financial responsibility for their children? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Throw it out. Roll it out into the street. <laughs> so if you have well, a, if you have it a, in the trash, if you have a kid and it's hungry, do you have to feed it legally, or is it like, well, that kid has to figure it out for itself? Figure it out, man. Hire a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Call the cops here. I mean, I know, look, I know why they have the laws, just because... Because the government wants their their money. That's not that's why. All. Well, why wouldn't they backstop it then? Like, seriously, of all the th of all the things to backstop, how expensive could it be to have to have a kid? McDonald's could give it free Happy Meals every day. That's true. There should be, there honestly should be a cap. But it's like, it's, it's insane. Based on how much you make, yeah. why? No, why is it based on how much sense. you fucking make? How much, it's, it needs food and... F fucking, you could wear a bag for a shirt. What is the what is okay. the problem here? I think there's a healthy It's not a lottery. It's between. not a lottery, ladies. <laughs> it's not a lottery, and they just get a infinite infinite power. Yeah. Have, have, have absolutely have to no control over their actions or their attitudes, and they get rewarded for it. I think Total I think shit. there should be a cap on how much child support someone, and it should not be just based on income. There's no reason. Fifty bucks. Okay, well, a little, again, I think there's a healthy middle ground. Ten bucks a day. <laughs> Ten bucks a day. Ten bucks a day. So, Don't you think that's like reasonable? Like 20 bucks a day. Okay, but he better be getting his dick sucked. Who, the guy? The dad. From the not from the child. <laughs> I would hope not from, from the, the mom. Child. I thought you were saying the kid should get his well, dick sucked. How important, like, well, how important is the kid? I have to go bust my ass. Okay, fine, yeah. I'll do it. So you better start sucking some dick over here. How fucking important is it? If I, if the government makes me do shit with my body, they're making fucking you do it too. Did you ever hear, uh, what's the guy from News Radio? Dave Foley? Yeah. He got ass raped with child support and alimony? Yeah, so child yeah. support in Canada, they, or at least what he claims, is that they calculated how much... I think it was also child support, or was it just alimony? I don't know. I don't know. Either way, they calculated what he needed to pay based on his salary at the time he was making news radio. Yeah. And he's like, I am no longer making news radio. And they're like, you have to give your wife a million dollars a month. And he's like, yeah. I don't make that anymore. That show doesn't exist anymore. I make nothing. I'm a Canadian comedian. So he, uh, he can't go back to Canada, Canada because he's worried he'll be arrested. He's gone back a couple times, but like kind of secretly. Yeah. He yeah. was, uh, I gave him a ride back to his uh, hotel downtown in my car one time with these two girls. Ooh. And he was shit-faced telling me that story. It's a good story. Crying about it. Was he crying? Well, it's not a good <laughs> no, story to tell in front crying. of It's not a good story to tell in front of women. Like you're running away one from was child hot. support. One, well, both of them were hot. But they don't want to hear you. Trying, yeah. You're running from your marital responsibilities or whatever. Yeah, because they... Because they're trying to get their own the piece. the fucking money. It's true. Always. It shouldn't be a lottery. Federal data shows that California... Oh, yeah, here we go. More than three and a half times the national uh, average... Wait a minute. It's keeping it unusually... Oh, yeah. So California keeps three and a half times what the rest of the uh, states... Oh, I didn't read that right the first time. Uh, whatever. They take a big fee out of it. Not, none should go to the state, right? Well, all of it comes down yeah. to... The only reason the state is putting that burden on you is because technically it should be the state's burden to... Uh, 
keep your ki- keep your kid alive. They're so a citizen. Fucking important. If they're a citizen of the, of the state, they they got to pay to keep them, feed them, clothe them, whatever. But they just want to foist that on you. At least let's start by making being a single mom illegal. Okay. At well, least I don't let's think start you can do that. that. I don't think. Why not? <laughs> Because why can you can you be a single father? Why is it illegal for me to drink beer at twenty? <laughs> you shouldn't be able to do that, but they did. Well, are you gonna take the kid away and put him where? It's just gonna. I'm gonna send Amaranth's husband to yell at you <laughs> if you're single. If you're thinking about being a single, that's the punishment. They're trying to. I think they're guilty. Yeah, someone's gonna come yell at you. No, Who? it's oh, fine. We got a long list. Don't worry about that, lady. I think I think it's fine. For I volunteer single mothers to exist. We don't want kids to end up in foster care or whatever. Something's got to compel them yeah, to, you know, pipe down. Well, we should also, like, unremarkable children, we should just, you know, snuff Street. them out. <laughs> street people. Like in India, they're fine. Yeah. Kids grow up in the street in India. Those kids are fine. They win. I don't they go on Who India Wants to Be a thriving. Millionaire. They do, like... <laughs> One of them did that in a movie. Yeah, they're big inspirations <laughs> to everybody in the West. They're fine. Yeah. Kids in India, they're just born, throw them in the trash, and they do they do just fine. I wonder how well we'd do with a caste system in America. Maybe we should try that out. Okay, let's give it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I, you know, maybe just some kids, we just go, eh, you know, you're level zero. You know what really bothers me around. about it, the child support thing? What's that? Back in the 80s, it's all you would ever hear about, mm. how horrible it was, and some we lost our way. Somewhere in the 90s. We just accepted it. Yeah. And now you never hear. Now I go online and I see guys saying stuff like, well, you got to have a little. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm like Rip Van Winkle. I woke up. I'm like, what the hell? Why well, would you? Well. Whose side are you on? When did child support first? Has child support always existed? Is it like historically? Yeah, because basically one guy would like go away and everyone would go like, uh, no, no, we're yeah, not. You gotta, no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll kill you if you stick us with these two. Yeah, if you make me pay for this bitch and that kid. Well, but you do to the woman too, though. Uh, you better, you better watch it. I think, I think some amount of child support would be okay. I do. All I'm saying is, then the woman better have something. She better suffer in some kind of way, <laughs> or be penalized or incentivized, whatever. She have, uh, support from what do you call it? From the, the father. Well, you got to change your behavior, man. Change what behavior? The woman's behavior. She's got to be more likable. Yes. People don't change. They they do. Women especially. They do when the government's fucking hammering them. Quite possible. All right, anyway, that's my problem. Vote it up. Don't vote that one up. That's a bad one. What do you, you love it. I mean, there's part, there's parts that are a problem of child support, but like clearly yeah. someone's got to pay for that kid and you don't want to pay for it. Do you want to pay more taxes for that kid? I don't care. Yes, you do. Shut the fuck up. They already got. They're already maxed out. <laughs> I don't give a shit anymore. Well, maybe, maybe every uh, child of a single mother should have to fight in Ukraine. Maybe we can get some of our money Send back the mom that over way. There, actually, that's true. Then those Russian guys will be like, "Oh, well, yet yeah, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> get, some, get some money back." Dick, I just watched the movie Black Adam. Okay, starring Dwayne the Rock Johnson, who is black. Who is not black. Okay. The movie is misleading. Okay. It's clearly not an Adam either. And uh, this is a DC superhero movie. Guys in capes flying, having fun. And uh, it fucking sucks. And there's a number of reasons why it sucks. Yeah, because superheroes are gay shit. Well, <laughs> not all of them. Most of them. Uh, I, I've, I've been pointed one thing I really dislike about modern movies. Uh-huh. Not just in the superhero genre, but a lot of a lot of it is in the superhero genre, the action genre, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, these are music videos disguised as movies. Okay. These are movies that every scene needs to be set to some top 40 hit yeah. from the last four decades so that your mind is tricked into thinking oh, you like the yeah. scene. Like Guardians of the Galaxy. Like Guardians of the yeah, Galaxy. Yeah, yeah. Well, Guardians of the Galaxy kind of started this trend, I think. It was going on maybe a little bit before that, but that was the first movie that was like, hey, remember all this fucking music and shit? And you're yeah. like, yeah, okay. At least the plot kind of worked it in where you had that tape recorder. No, um, Face Off started it. 
did it. When the little boy is walking around with the radio and he puts the headphones on and it's over the rainbow and it's all that John Woo action shit. <laughs> and you're like, all of us were in the audience like, oh my God, that's this is so the coolest cool. thing I've ever seen. And then X Man did it with the fast though. Uh, yeah, what do you call it? Quicksilver. I'm trying to remember uh, what song fast. he did. Fast, Man. fast, <laughs> fast. Though is that what you call him? Yeah, time in a bottle. Right, time in a bottle. Then yeah. They did it again. You're like, okay. Well, whatever. that's the thing. They keep doing it. They even did it in Black Adam. They do a slow motion scene. That's set to some fucking music, and I'm like, oh my god, are we gonna get this in every movie? Fuck off. Uh, I believe they did. Okay, again, the name of the movie is Black Adam. So the big slow motion racing around uh, sequence is set to the song "Paint It Black." Oh God! And I use, and it has no, it doesn't make sense. And it's the scene is him just like vaporizing soldiers to death. It's like very graphic in a way. And you just go, "I see your," and you're like, "Yeah, I know that song." And I want to paint it black. And it reminds me of that Kevin Bacon movie where there's like a woman in concrete that was raped in his house. And she's like, no, <laughs> there's like, like painting black during that. I don't scene. have a good kind of like I don't have a good memory of that song, guys. The whole movie like I was like, Chrome, yeah. yeah. Uh, then the, like the movie starts off and this kid jumps on his skateboard and immediately you hear the world is a vampire and I'm like, God fucking damn it, stop! Just like. Just yeah. I I think they are actually trying to run this psychological trick where like your brain is primed when you recognize music. Yeah. You get a little thrill. That's why that's why certain songs like just get played over and over and over again. Right. Like your stingers. Yeah, like my stingers, exactly. Well, pattern recognition is exciting for your brain. That's why they think people really like music. Mm. That music has these patterns that are repetitive. You know, you once you learn the chorus, mm. you know it. You know, you know what's coming up. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, I know what he's gonna say next. I know what words are coming because of the chorus. So it drives people insane when you half sing songs. Yes, exactly. Yeah, like happy birthday to Oh, God, that's horrifying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and singing the wrong words messes up people, too. I love doing that. And everyone, of course, has these nostalgic connections to these songs. So they then go, well, I like the song, so my brain is tricking me into thinking I like the movie based on... Because yeah. it has a thing I already like in it. Yeah. That's probably why franchises are popular. You're like, well, I know I like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so obviously I'll like this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Just endless trash. They're just going to keep jamming this constant nostalgia down your throat for, like, better pieces of media. Yeah, but you support it. No, I you don't. You see that? You watch all that shit... Do you do you pay for those movies when you watch them? Well, I cam ripped Black Adam. I okay, good. Finally. I, I Well, I miss when you could just watch. Uh, there was that COVID period of time where they stopped putting movies in theaters. And I was like, oh, thank God. Please normalize that. Was that was the best, man. It was the best. And now it's back. They're like, you gotta go to theater. And as I've discussed, the theater experience voted up is terrible. Yeah, and I hate true. it. It's too much money. By the time I, why would I spend forty dollars to see a movie? Get a popcorn, get a nacho, a hot dog. You can't see if any chicks are hot there. You're like, uh, it's the back of your head. Like, uh, what's going on? Can't look over. Around. I was doing a bit about how much I spent at the movies on <laughs> candy and popcorn, but that as well. No, uh, this was also. I mean, it's just like, and it's so blatant. The songs that they choose again. Paint it black for Black Adam. But did you ever see uh, the Suicide Squad movie? That was one of the worst offenders. The first Wait, Suicide the Squad guy? movie. The Starro? That, no, that's a good one. Because oh, that's James the one Gunn. With, Jay, with Jared Leto? The one Leto? with Jared Leto, yeah. No, I didn't see that one. It's so bad. It looks bad. Now, that movie famously was uh, directed by David Ayer. I forget what else he directed, but he directs like dark films, right? And he was like, okay, yeah, it's going to be dark. It's not like a superhero movie. It's like a dark whatever the hell. Cool. And then Deadpool mm. came out and it made like a bajillion dollars. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So they went to him and they're like, listen, we just saw Deadpool and can you make your movie funny? Yeah. It's, like, it's not really the movie. I already made the movie. We're editing it now. And they're like, well, well, let's actually. And they took that movie and they had two competing cuts. So they said, well, why don't you edit your vision of what you think it should look like? And then we're going to edit our version, yeah. and then we'll see which one we like better. Uh -huh. And for their version, the Warner Brothers version, they went to this company called Trailer House, a company that had never edited an actual movie before and only edited trailers. Okay. And you know how trailers are always just like a Copy. stupid song? 
that and uh, like yeah yeah just yeah. like a bunch of scenes set do to do music do you do like do 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 do. So, so the whole movie of suicide squad is like one long movie trailer where every huh. scene has like a different stupid pop song that's kind of good actually bro you have to watch <laughs> this at some point it is like fascinating yeah how many songs they jammed onto that soundtrack <laughs> and they're all just like on the nose, like uh, sympathy for the devil when that Amanda Waller chick shows up and you go, oh, because she's the devil, but she's got a job Man. to do. Or like when they get in a helicopter, they play Fortunate Son, like that cliche about how every war movie when you get in a helicopter, yeah. they play. It was so bad. And it's a trend that they're doing can in just, all these movies. Can we just not have superhero movies anymore? When does that happen? That would be great. No, that's a, the whole other had, problem. Remember like, there was just none? Well, we're it would in be like goofy if there was one. The thing is that uh, Hollywood finds a genre. Oh, okay, and they and they do a thing where like it starts off goofy and what like like westerns. Mm -hmm. Like the history of westerns, where it's like started off. Oh, these are just fun, stupid theories, and everyone gets tired of the fun, jokey ones, and they're like, now we're gonna make like serious westerns, and it's like, what if what if cowboys were real? You know? <laughs> I know, I know, I got it. And we're doing that with it. Marvel right I just now. Want Kanye to. <laughs> To you know, take care of it. Well, so we Kanye don't have, to have any more superhero movies. Kanye was in the Black Adam movie. Sadly, really? yeah, I was actually really surprised that they left it in. His face? Uh, his no, but his, his, mu his, music. Oh, his music again. Wow. As a power, Black Adam's like, I gotta go take care of this. And you, Dude. oh, hey, oh. And Kanye goes, look at all those Jews. I see them and I don't like them. Wow. Um, <laughs> yeah. If you play Joan to backwards, it's Mein Kampf. Did you know that? I didn't know that. It's crazy. It sounds uh, sounds. Unfair. I don't know any Kanye songs. It's interesting because uh, if it was anyone else came out and said, like, I fucking hate Jews, they definitely would have taken their music out of Black Adam. Uh, For some reason, Kanye, well, they, they go. Mel Gibson get away with stuff. That's they different. Didn't. That's different. Hmm. I think if it was like anyone else, they'd be like, well, we have to take that song out immediately. We have to delay Black Adam. But for some reason, no. when Kanye does it, it's kind of like a weird little joke where it's like, well, it doesn't count. It's Kanye. Yeah. He just says stuff. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Dick, my problem is- uh, Are you on the mental health crisis train? He's clearly having a mental health breakdown. I don't know. Like, oh, clearly. yeah. He's so crazy. He's, he is fucking insane. <laughs> he's got $11 billion. Yeah. I mean, I guess that would make you insane at regardless, but- I think he's got nuts. some scores to settle. I don't, I don't think that's crazy. I don't think he has scores to settle. I don't understand. And we've had this discussion. Like, well, I don't know if we've had this discussion, but <laughs> if you have succeeded yeah. in the Hollywood entertainment sphere, right? That means that the Jews have smiled upon you. <laughs> well, he's and now of, he's, he's basically saying that he's saying they've taken it away. The Jews giveth and the did Jews not, taketh did you away. Not listen to his interview or what? Which interview? He's done like twelve of them. They're all you just didn't like, listen to all of them. Which? Okay, uh, whatever. Point is, he spells it out. Well, why rock the boat, as we say? My problem, Dick, is music videos. You wouldn't understand as me movies. though. Uh, okay. Inshallah, salam, my so fucking Jewish sick of brothers. Superhero movies. Yeah, I know. We need like Son Superman of Sam. Superman comes back in this one. That's the big thing. I, I just, I, I hate them so much. I hate superhero movies and superheroes so much. Yeah. If only there was a comic book that perhaps took a satirical look <laughs> at the <laughs> you genre. Hurry. You better hurry. I That's going to be the last train out of Dodge. Stagecoach out of Dodge. Whatever Soon. it is. Uh, okay, here's my last problem. It's online naturalists. Okay. I know I didn't come up with any examples, but I'm sure that there are some. <laughs> okay. Like these fucking people on Twitter who are always telling you how important it is to go outside, and they always come back with a, oh, you know, I just came back from a, I spent the day swimming with my dog and hiking and climbing yeah. trees, and <laughs> I met an old lady that made a pie and baked her hair <laughs> in a pie, and then I took a 40-mile walk, yeah. and I sun naked. And then I went on a I went on a fishing boat and I caught a tuna. Yeah. I pulled in a tuna with my bare hands and a shark ate it by the time I got here. And an it's old really man taught me how to whittle. <laughs> and I, I whittled a 
two pipes, yeah. I whittled a bong, and now <laughs> I'm here to tell you how important all this stuff is. To you, you really, you really gotta go outside. You, gotta you really touch gotta drastic. return to. So fucking stay there. No one fucking asked you to come back and get wow. a bunch of. Clearly, the dopamine's better yeah. than whatever shit you got. Clearly, you need to come back to the source for your fucking fix, you dumb bitch. Clearly, it's not good enough. Well, Clearly, it's yeah. not good enough out there. You need to come back and tell everyone how much better you are than them. It's true. The dopamine fix of letting everyone know your life is great on the internet it's yeah. just, uh, is better than the actual life you might be leading. I'll know that outside is great when I never read about how great it is online again. What how? happened to all those people telling me how great being outside and getting sun and how important it is for your, for your fucking mental health is? Does the hike outside exist being healthy? if you don't Instagram a picture of yourself wearing sunglasses and a little... Did it happen? Ooh, yeah. Hey, guys, doing a thing. Doodaloo. Gotta be out in nature. So good for your mental oh health. Oh, my God. Bitch, how... The sun was so beautiful what today. What is this for your mental health? What if the secret of mental health is just endlessly posting about yourself online all day? That's the real secret of mental health. It's definitely done wonders for me. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that shit so much. You get much. a lot of that on uh yeah, on Instagram people po. Everybody's got to let you know so about you how beautiful the sun is. It's really important to get out there and touch. So go. <laughs> so go do it. Yeah, why aren't you? Now doing you're just right making now? me feel bad. Yeah. Like, well, I can't cuz I'm working. I just kind of took a break from work. To look at Twitter, someone might have posted a joke, a fat guy falling down. Well, Dick, Tom maybe, you're, work, said maybe something. you're working too much, you know? Maybe you got to get out of this box you're trapped in. <laughs> That's what my, I went in for a, uh, what is it, a, a physical? Hysterectomy. The, no. When your doctor just gives you, like, a look over and okay. asks, you, asks you questions that are, all your answers are wrong. Right. And that was, she's like, well, how is your stress levels? And I was like, well, very high. Like, well, how much do you work? And I said, a lot. And she goes, well, you think you could work less? I'm like, who the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck are you? And I threw her out the window. <laughs> Come here, you little bitch. Bam! <laughs> work less? Yeah. Fucking, fucking Alexa told me to work less. Really? Yeah, I forget what I said to Alexa. Yeah. And she goes, like, uh, she Maybe said, like, you should work less. Yeah, she goes, uh, you want to know some uh, tips for mental health oh. and wellness? I was like, yeah, sure. I'll, uh, I'll pretend I'll entertain I'm, this. I'll join I'll entertain the fucking, a robot telling me how to live my life. Yeah, I'll join the asylum. What do you? What do you? What, what do you got? got? What do you got? I'm fucking. Oh, my mental health is really a fuck out of bars. Just to keep all those Amazon workers from killing themselves. Yeah, so. she Come says. Uh, you know, it's important uh, when you're working. Stop and uh, take a break. And mm. if that doesn't work, take another break. Like, wow. So your solution is to just not, all these women <laughs> and computer women are telling me all day to just not work. And women online are saying, well, you got to stop working, go outside. I'm like, I think that maybe is the fucking part of the problem here. That all you do all day is take walks and go on hikes <laughs> and talk about how you need to take walks and go on hikes. Well, we've discussed that the typical female employment of the day is getting lattes and acai bowls as opposed to doing anything resembling actual work. So maybe women have it all figured out. The problem is us guys can't seem to slip our way into those uh, cushy into those positions. Into For some reason, they folds. expect us to actually produce content. And have you seen uh, what I'm talking labor. about? Well, people talking about their how important their it is to go out. Yeah. Oh man, it's so you got to go into a, co a, a cabin. That's the real secret of life. Is you got to get rid of all these th things that go off grid. Mm. Like me. Like, you're fucking on... What are you talking about? You're on Twitter right now. You're posting this on Instagram, you dumb bitch. Yeah, anytime anybody's like, I'm going camping, it's beautiful. And I'm like, how are you going to charge your phone? And then they get back Come and they're on. like a fucking slobbering animal <laughs> to get at that sweet internet. <laughs> oh, yeah, give me that. Give me those fucking up, up dudes. I don't know what we're, we're doing as a society. We're improving. We're weeding out are people. Are we? Yes. What do you think, uh... What do you think, uh, what's the Unabomber's name? Happiness is not the goal. No. <laughs> what do I think about the Unabomber? I think he was a fucking lunatic. No. That moron's quote, to seem intelligent, because it's edgy. Uh, oh, man, look, looks like, just like what Uncle Ted said, right? See, because <laughs> industrialization, like, you didn't even, number one, you didn't fucking you didn't read, read the manifesto. <laughs> Most people have not read it. You fucking moron. You yeah. sound just like a like a Christian quoting scripture for shit. Well, you know, a Unabomber, uh, not, paragraph nine. I know they never even got, like, like a, like a couple pages into it, because they never bring up the uh, the Japanese prime, what was it? The emperor wow. and yeah. his love of dolphins. Isn't oh, that like yeah. a major part of it? Yeah. 
where he goes like, listen, I know the emperor became like one of the world's foremost experts on dolphins. Yeah. But that's because he's doing busy work because he has nothing else. And that's what we're all doing right now. I'm like, yeah, yeah good yeah. point about about we're all dolphins. working real hard. Yeah. yeah. Where'd you send those bombs? <laughs> uh, a bunch of people who like good personal vendettas with. Wow. Fucking great, Ted. Thanks. I had personal vendettas because they didn't see the truth. Huh, wow. As now we all do. I'm not going to let you talk shit about Father Ted, chick. Oh, you like the Unabomber? Yeah, he, he kind of, I mean. Well, what's your favorite part about the Unabomber? The, the beard? I like the Una. <laughs> not so much a fan of the bomber, but. Industrialization? The hoodie was cool. Is that what he Should said? Industrialization is a mistake of the human race? Has been disastrous. The uh, the industrial revolution has been a disaster for the human race. Is that Ted? And its Is consequences it, have been. Yeah. yeah, I believe so. Oh yeah. I oh, mean, oh, fucking horrible. The problem is that we we, we no longer uh, we feel disconnected from. You no longer. That's f- the best part. <laughs> <laughs> you used to be able to be like, hey, is, uh, you're annoying. Okay, goodbye. I put what, my phone down. What I did had like value, but now I'm like, what have I done in like the past like 10 years? Like I made some funny internet videos. Like I haven't done nothing. And and the worst part is realizing. the industrial revolution that did that, Vito. <laughs> That's a big part of it. I don't feel like that. I made like a card game no one cares about. It's like I produce nothing of value. I don't make bread. I don't. <laughs> I don't what do you think a bread guy at the end of the day is like, ah, oh, what a great day of value. I think it was, I think if you were the bread guy back in the day, you were like, you know what? Why don't you go fucking make bread then? Because nobody even needs bread. Like the, we've we've the industrial revolution has left us with no need for bread. You don't need bread. I mean, you what need about avocado toast. Some instead? bread. You can make a big old story. Oh, my bread is fucking cooked. The town cobbler. You spend all day cobbling. You might make like two pairs of shoes a week, and you go, "Hey, that guy, your hands that are guy, riddled with arthritis." That guy wouldn't have shoes if not for me. And now a Chinese guy can make a billion shoes, and you're like, "What's the point they of that?" Chinese guys. Yeah, but they couldn't all, make a billion all. shoes. Now they need. A, they got a factory. The point is, we have disconnected our uh, our labor. No longer intrinsically has. Meaningful value, yeah. It's just a joke. It's supposed to. Well, it it mean if yeah. I mean, (laughs) why should it? I I don't know. Ooh, I made a big old uh, valued piece of bread today. (laughs) Well, at one point, what do you think? Your wife's like, oh, honey, your bread means so much (laughs) to the community. Oh yeah, she's like, why can't you? There's things other than bread. bread. It's not just bread, okay? What is it? It's everything. It's that nothing. Right now, we're just producing shit for the sake of producing shit. (laughs) Do we need a billion superhero movies? Is our our lives enriched by all this garbage? No. We're just swimming in it. Why do you think that lives need to be enriched? Cause why are we? Eat, what are we doing any of this for? Are we all it's just, just endless trash? Oh yeah, I know. So like, basically, uh, on a long enough timeline, just kill yourself. Like, why not? Sure. Yeah, no, exactly. Well, doesn't that's matter. The, that's it's the problem. Just a long line of endless is it progenated it, it, trash. An organism which no longer strives towards anything should probably just kill itself, and that's the problem <laughs> that we're trying to find a purpose for the human race. I'm not. And all, well, you're not, and that's clear, that's really, and that's I don't know fine. Why you've picked this problem. If there's a surrogate woman out there to help me make an army of children to retake the earth, let me know. We're gonna need at least twelve kids. How much are you gonna kids. pay her? Oh, that's a lot. Child support's gonna be a lot. Bucks a kid. <laughs> bump Flat it rate. Up. Flat rate. California, bump that shit up. We're so fucked. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Why don't you just learn to accept it? I well, that's the problem. Is when she, well, if I accept it, you're gonna be like, we couldn't. We can't do the show this week because Vito's dead. <laughs> So the only the week I accept it. The only option for you is to derive meaning, to find meaning whatever and value, that is yeah. from your the fruits of your labor, or kill yourself. I mean, I could go full comedian style and just you know live for the sake of the joke. I guess. <laughs> Why do you need a reason but to would, live? But then I would start killing people. So that's its own fucking problem. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, so it's suicide one way or the other. It, yeah, exactly. You can't just be normal and exist. If there is no reason, like why would I not kill a bunch of people? That's like clearly <laughs> you the, go to jail. Yeah, but that would be f- like the most. Most fun thing would be killing a bunch of people, obviously. <laughs> like, 
<laughs> Let's be clear. That's the real problem with mass murder. It's like, like Kanye is having a mental health know, crisis, you're saying? I'm sorry. We know how That's... fun it would be. If you could take a machine gun into a crowd and just... I don't think it would be that fun. I think it would be like a fucking blast. Or like drive a car through a Christmas parade or whatever. <laughs> Like that guy, classic leftist. All these, all these school shooters. Probably they're like, you know, that was the best day of their life. I imagine. Yeah, followed by the worst day. Of their yeah, life. then they ended up in jail, and then that's well, that's the problem is you have to kill yourself at the end, because otherwise they're just gonna put you through a bunch of fucking hoop hoops hoop and law. yeah, hoopla. <laughs> It's going to be bored. They won't even let you kill yourself in prison, which makes no sense. Now you could probably figure they out They should sell way. suicide kits in the prison. Like, come on. It would be cheaper. It would be cheaper, and it would be give people what they want. Let them do what they want. Okay, well, that's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Online naturalist. Did you guys listen to the last episode? The biggest problem where Vito said <laughs> killing a bunch of people would be the most. I mean, it's like playing GTA in real life. Like, if yeah, you but could, that's not like. If you could do it that's with, really messing up your Lolly and Cuties argument you when you're saying that no that's the same. no consequences, you would, you would absolutely go on a mass murdering rampage. What do you mean with no consequences? Yeah, just like, I don't know, like pick a town where you're never going to see any of the people again. <laughs> just blow it up? Yeah. I think it would be funny if nukes went off. Yeah. As long as a lot of them went off. Yeah. If one went off, I don't think it would be, it wouldn't be that funny. You ever like stopped at like a stoplight and like a bunch of like, you know, kids and their families are like kids. crossing the street? <laughs> and you just, you think, man, if I, if I just hit the accelerator now, no. I would like, Ruin so many lives in an instant. Like you have no, that guys, power. The guys who are going across the street and yeah. they're walking slow and they're like, do do. You want to hit that guy? Oh uh, yeah. Not that like that would it's feel just fascinating. Like, be the best day of my to life. Me it's the ripple Boop. effect of tragedy that you can cause with such little effort. You can ruin so many now lives. Now we know why California is the way it is. Because <laughs> guys like you're me, voting. Are psychopaths. Uh, I don't think you're psychopath. I look, I just, you know, <laughs> you just, I haven't reached the point yet that, you know, I'm going to go for it. But sometimes you see a guy go for it and you go, well, I get it, you know. Like which one's the last, like that guy with in uh, that drove through the Christmas parade? No, not that guy. Oh, okay. But Christopher Dorner. Oh, come on. American everybody hero. got, yeah. Everybody was back in the Dorner. You can't corner you can't the Dorner, corner the Dorner, Dorner. Baby. Yeah. See, you know. He messed up, though. He did mess up. He had to get on the boat. Well, he, he was trying to, to find into the underground. That's what happened. Well, the underground wasn't in place yet. If Antifa had been established, like if no, there was not like, those guys, well, so they would have hit him though. They hate. They're fuck. They're retarded though. He he was trying to get a boat like last minute. He needed to set up the boat ahead of time. A boat in Big Bear. Where was well, he I think go? he ended up in Big Bear because he was was Big Bear his original plan. I thought he just got forced into Big Bear. Big Bear's up on top of a mountain. Yeah, but I think I don't know. Mexico is that a way. All I know is his plan didn't go exactly to plan. Sadly. Well, Vito, I think you're going to get a lot of strange vo voicemails next week. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> I'm going to get a bunch of fucking emails from guys who are like, you know, I've been thinking about going for it, and I get it now. <laughs> so if anyone needs any tips, do not email me. Uh, child support, online naturalists, and yours were what? Not getting drugs for Halloween okay, and music videos drugs. disguised as movies. Uh, music videos disguised as movies. Okay. Go to biggest pro biggestproblem.show to vote them up. Go to patreon.com. Don't take slash. anything I say on this show seriously. I'll end up committed. And you're telling me that Kanye has a problem. Well, because I don't, I know it's wrong. What do you mean? But if there's no rule. <laughs> If we eliminate the barrier between right and wrong and there's no meaning to anything. You fuckers. I know that's why liberals are like that. We need to have all these laws because if we don't have them, I'll do something crazy. Yeah. I fucking, it's so fucking frustrating well, that you guys just can't relax. There's more need... than just us. You know? No, it's, it's like, only you guys. It's lot. only fucking you guys. Everyone on the right is like, yeah, give me a gun. I don't care. I won't shoot it. But the liberal, liberals no, are like, well, you need, to, you, so, guys... you need to make it illegal for me to shoot it or else I might. Right wing guys buy the guns and they say, I'll never use it in anger. And then, like, one guy goes, Hey, buddy. And they go, No, no, that doesn't yes, happen. Do. That doesn't fucking happen. Either that or you're like, uh, Your kid fucking finds it and puts it in his mouth for fun. So? Well, because you guys are so, you guys you are just stupid. Problem to even fucking fucking you don't have a problem with bleach being under the sink. Kids could drink that. 
Bleach isn't fun the way a gun is. Okay, here you guns go. Guns are fun. Bleach is smells bad. Yeah. If guns smelled uh, bad, kids say. would probably kill themselves less. So we have to all we guns have to stink now. <laughs> That's actually a good solution. It's a it's one that I think that you would that they would do, yeah. <laughs> like all guns that have to smell really bad. Okay. So that it tastes bad. Cool. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stink, that is a classic stinky. liberal solution. Classic liberal solution. We made gas smell bad. That's been helpful. No one's got a well, problem with that. Liberal, that's helpful. Yeah, this will be helpful too. You got Liberals didn't think of that gun. one, I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here. Oops. I gotta say, uh, Vito saying I want six K as a stinger is the first time he's actually made a proper stinger. There you go. Too bad he there didn't fucking go. make it. I should have made that one. Well, well, we made it on the show. Go fuck yourselves. Well, I got my six K, so that stinger no longer needs to exist. You find any meaning in that six K? Or no, it? it's all it's just going down a pit of sadness. But at least I can buy more pornography or <laughs> video games or something. Why don't you just work out? Why do, you, why do you think that's the solution? Because it's because you are designed to work out all the time. Okay. You're not designed to bake bread to meet God. You're designed <laughs> to, every day, you're supposed to be running your ass off to eat, and you're not doing that. And I am. Well, I've been, uh, I've been trying to diet a little bit, so that's good. What about the exercise component? Well, everyone says the exercise component, like, even guys who are, like, really into it, they go, listen, exercise is bullshit. It's all about the diet. Who, who? A bunch who of fucking says, people. Who says that? A bunch of your fans who come to me and yell, yell at me because I'm fat. And they go, just eat like like a whole chicken every day. Are you? Uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take that bike? <laughs> I'll take the bike. Okay. I'll take the bike. Hey, Dick. Hey, Vito. I just woke up. Here's what. Here's the big problem. Which is, uh, was it celebrity simps? <laughs> um, especially this voice actress simp. The whole fucking simps. bayonetta thing is yeah. such a joke. And everybody's like, oh man, that's so messed up. She's getting paid $4,000, but it turns out it's like $4,000 per session. So for five sessions. So yeah. she would have made $20,000. But still, oh, that's just a, a, a just a tiny little fraction of how much the whole game is getting being made. Oh, yeah. I should totally boycott. Why are people fucking <laughs> like boycotting a game because a voice actor is making know. millions of dollars? Voice actresses voice actors and voice actresses are fucking some of the most overpaid people in Hollywood. I mean Tom Kenny for a while was like the most like overpaid actor in Hollywood and he well, would just do the voices for everything. So is this really like what well, we should make it a stand on for? Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah, he yeah. was SpongeBob. Yeah, you can't you kinda couldn't him. really Yeah, you had to have him and SpongeBob makes bajillions of dollars. Yeah. But Bayonetta is somebody who if you replaced it, I would go, Yeah, that's fine. It's just a British, British lady's lady. voice. It's a fucking video game. I will say that if it's true that you know, when she first came out and said they offered me only four K to do the character, I was like, Well, that's clearly insulting. Like that game's making a shit ton of money and maybe say, Well, why didn't you ask for a that was that was it? They didn't want to give you any more than well, no, that? Well, no, the thing is that she had lied was that originally uh, they had offered her 4K per session for, like, at least five. It was, like, going to end up being like, yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. And she wanted royalties. Because session's not, like, like mm. what, like, eight hour, like an eight-hour day? I don't even think it is an eight-hour day. Yeah, no. So, so it's probably, it was, like, $4,000 for six hours of work. Uh, per day. And then I guess the second figure was they're like, well, all right, we're going to have somebody else voice the main one. Do you want to come in and do, like, a couple whatever voices for another 4K? Just, like, a one-day session? And she apparently was asking for six figures and royalties, and they're like, "We're not gonna pay you royalties." Do that. Yeah, yeah, we're uh, yeah, like no. there's no reason. I, the, the, you got to understand your position. It's like you are easily replaceable as that character. Well, it annoys me that she called for a boycott. It's like, well, why? Why are you trying to fuck everyone else over? Like people's careers are made on successful games. Yeah, who are not? They're not. They're not getting royalties. The designer. No, that was like it? really weird of her. She she like, like clearly fucked. didn't know what she was talking about because she's not only did she say I want you to boycott the game, but she's like and donate the money you would have spent on it to charity. I'm like now you're just fucking nuts. Yeah, 
Like wow. you can say, I urge people not to buy, you know, buy this thing because they're not treating voice talent right, whatever. Yeah. I'd be like, take that money and give it away to some other. Fi-. I'm like, no, I'm not gonna fucking do that. <sighs> Hopefully, she'll get cancer. I don't know any other way to. Oh, now she's been canceled because people found a bunch of her turf tweets. So all the trans people are mad at her. You can't get away with that. <laughs> I'll let you do that now. Deal with that. Uh, okay, let's see. You're both retarded. How about that? Hey, so apparently this is a thing now. Uh, I'm drunk and standing on the street, and you're both fucking retarded. Thank oh. you. Regarding the fucking problems this week, right? Like, right. uh,. NP, really? Yeah. NP. And also yeah. veto. Like, your shit's getting fucking asterisk. Like, all you gotta do is download a custom keyboard. Download a custom keyboard. That's it. Then you can teach it to critique. say what you want to say. It will say all the bad words that you want. It will use all the abbreviations that you want. I think you get the regular you keyboard to do it. You just have to turn all you off the thing. I mean, it's all you got to do is more things. Okay, yeah. thanks, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you have an infinite amount of time in your day. You can just do anything. Fucking thanks. If 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 your answer is that it's not a problem if you do something, then that means it is a problem. It's a problem then. <laughs> Hunger problem? All oh, you got to do just is fucking just, eat. You just got to go find somebody. Look, uh-huh. you has got to go find, and if you see someone who's hungry. You guys are retarded, but you don't know you can eat. The thing. We know not every like every problem you ask can be solved. Gas grabbing? All the you point is, is let's be clear, that problem shouldn't exist to begin with. Thank you, shithead, for the email that took 50 seconds to say that. Yeah. Uh, let's do Super Chats. You want to do one more? Or Dick, you it, fucked up. How about that Sure. One? Hey, Dick. Hey, piece of shit. I have to wow. fucking rip you a new one again, God just like it. I did all fucking summer, and Dick plays it because he fucking knows it's true. Stop skipping the TBS. The to be fairs no. when they pay 20 bucks. No. You set that fucking standard, Vito. <laughs> you did. And then Dick agreed at like the very sort of beginning of the whole bit. You no. said if motherfuckers pay 20 bucks that you would say it no matter it's what. I want to hear that you suck <laughs> box, you motherfucker. I want to hear it. In the last couple weeks, somebody has paid $20 or more and well, you said the letter yeah, but inflation. TBS. Inflation. You're fucking skipping out on a verbal contract. <laughs> you win. Cuck. You always do this. All you fucks do. 21 bucks is Go the new. <laughs> Look, I, 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 I understand. I, can't, I feel like I should not allow myself to be threatened here. If you want me Too to late. say the TBF, you got to be good about it. You got to get them in there. Look, if it's twenty dollars, I might feel like all right. Oh let's man, throw them a there's bomb. a lot of super chats. I think they all came in at the end when you like when lost I started talking about killing and started people and populating about shooting the children. people. <laughs> Typical liberal just wants to murder yeah, everybody. <laughs> Well, guys, uh, as a reminder, don't forget you will be able to vote at biggestproblem.show and check out the bonus episodes Yeah, at patreon.com slash biggestproblem. Let's do the super chats. David Gomez for two. Biggest problem is fat-headed hosts getting in the camera. Oh, are you in the camera this t- this time? I don't am. Where are you? We're a little like, if I, yeah, but I wasn't leaning over that much. I'll move you over next time. That was the beginning of the show, uh, so it's very yeah. possible that we fixed it very quickly. Jason Moose for five. You come into my house on the day Mr. Floyd is to be buried, and he asked me to talk about Jews for money. Yeah. What is that a reference to? I don't know. I have no idea. <clears throat> Claptrap for $1.99. It's fixed. Proceeds to be late. We were late getting the show started. I'm sorry. Yeah. Jack Sexton for 10. Dick's point on anti-Semitism is valid. There's a long and nuanced history exploring subject matters like pre-biblical times with the... Come on. (laughs) (laughs) Dick, you want to finish that one? With the TB Pharaohs. The tip of <laughs> the, the what? <laughs> the Tibby Pharaohs. Yeah. All that right. really undermine a lot of the rights positions. Those, the, sometimes when it's like a block attack, so I'm like, something's <laughs> going on here. Oh, you miss Koofs. Oh, Koof for two. Thank you all for not killing yourselves. Thank you, Koof. Lane Steel for five. Bring back the stingers. We have done so. Yeah. They are back. John Riffs for 10. The Sandy Hook families now want $2.75 trillion from Alex Jones, where the kids made of Bitcoin. Did you see that? 2.75 bill, a trillion. How much does it have to be before you stop feeling sorry for those parents? <laughs> I, 
I stop feeling. Honestly, if they get more than a million dollars each, I go, well, that's excessive. You might get another kid. Yeah. Okay. As I said, I would ki- if you gave me seventy million dollars for, I would kill two of my kids, double up, buck forty. That's so much money. How, yeah, how so are you going to s- find meaning in all that mo- in your seventy million dollars? I'll find. I can hire a billion about- surrogates for that. I can make a hundred kids for that kind of money. Are you going to be crying about the existentialism when you're a seventy millionaire? I don't know what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I'm gonna be uh, having lots of fun. Brisman for five says nothing. <clears throat> Toby from the fair for two says the biggest problem in the universe is small faces. I agree. Mega Man for five. How is Vito so lovable? Chung is wholesome, but on Twitter he's literally Hort. Oh, Hortler. Hortler. Yeah, Adolf Hortler. Hmm. Vito being two faced makes me a rage. To be fair. <laughs> Can we get a, do we have to get a replay on that? <laughs> that might need an instant replay. I don't know if we can get it. Can we get okay. an instant replay? I, I, I can do an instant replay. Oh, Hortler. Hortler. Here we go. Yeah. Let's see. Adolf Hortler. Let's, get, let's see. Peter Here being two faced makes me a rage to be fit. <laughs> I didn't, oh, I didn't do it. On. I didn't do yeah. it. Oh, let, let's it was get just a, a fuh. Oh, you're right. Okay. It was just you a fu. Safe. Safe. <laughs> Safe. Oh, that was amateur hour, to be fair, too. I know. He really did not. Tr- oh, man. I almost got him. <laughs> well, because th- he was being so. He, it was a good point. See, that's the way to do it is when you make one that I'm like into. And I'm like, yeah, that's a good point. He's yeah, not about right. like <clears throat> Toby Pharaoh. Not about, or- yeah, the, the fair, the Toby fair. Uh, Petty for 10. <laughs> okay. Vito, you can't talk about that politician who was caught slapping it in front of a school. You have TBF <laughs> and consider his people's generational trauma. He's one of OJ's anti Semitism voted up. Sure. <clears throat> Mr. Drunk of Tool says, cool hat, Vito. Well, he says cool with quotes. Oh, well, it, I mean, it is a cool hat. Fuck you. Clap, trap, and destroyer for five. St. Fentanyl Floyd would be proud. I don't know that's in reference to. Guys, Jared Schiff with a big fifty dollars on the board. Said fentanyl Freud. Fentanyl Freud. <laughs> Jared put up fifty bucks. Stick. Wow. Thank you, Jared. Thanks, Jared. Beautiful. Got kicked out by my roommates because my misogynistic drunk drunk ramblings made one of their wives uncomfortable. Hmm. Your roommate has a wife. Now I'm moving back with my rich mommy and daddy for free, and they are fine with me smoking weed here now. Oh. So here's some of my rent money. Well, cool. all right. Your Thanks. misfortune is our uh, benefactor. Uh, that would suck to live with a couple. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Ugh. That's what we're getting into, though. That's the future. We're all going to be living in little cages with like 10 families in a house. Not me. Well, yeah, because you got out ahead of the game. <laughs> This next generation is <laughs> fucked. Make hell shit for 10. My first time catching one of these live. Here's $10 uh, to mark the occasion. Thank thanks. you, Mikhail shit. Beautiful. Claptrap the destroyer for five. The opposite of single dads are literally the biggest problem in the universe. Yeah. Single moms, I believe he means. Yeah, okay. Is that 12 for $4.52? Test. Says test. All right. Thanks. All right. Cougar Hughes. For five dollars, Vito, adopt a kid right now. Here's a five towards it. Nah, I gotta make my own. Okay. This IQ in my head is beautiful. I gotta give it on to somebody else. I need another unstable genius. Why would you set- curse someone to walk this hell? Well, also as we discussed, you get the kid, and that's when you make the real money. <sighs> Why? Because oh, you make them open toys and you do make shit. them open toys and make TikToks. Now I get it. And okay. Oh my god. Yeah. Now Dick, I got it. If I it. had a kid, I would make so yeah. much money. Yeah. That's about right. He'd be like, Dad, I need to sleep, and I'd go, You haven't opened enough fucking Shopkins yet. Your fans demand it. Umpty Madu for five. All known temperature dependent sex determination happens in species that are both egg layers or avaporous. This has been Sean's Animal Corner. Thanks. I disagree. Just put your wife in an oven and make all boys. Fist of corpse. Semitism voted up. <laughs> Fist of corpse for two. <clears throat> R.I.P. Low tax. Pour one out from a boy. Yeah. I'm still torn up about that. But low tax oh, yeah, that's, fucked everything. Well, that's, that's child support. That was child, support child support situation. killed child support and those blood sucking harpies that he divorced killed those low tax. Parents of his kids. Killed yeah. low tax. Well, the domestic abuse didn't help. 
That was, who knows what happened there? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I think I think there's some, you know. But Maybe they abused him, probably. There's probably, yeah, probably went both they ways. probably threw a bunch of slaps. Either way, he didn't deserve to lose everything he had. Clap trap to the shore for two says the gravity falls hat was uh, gravity falls hat was cooler. Well, I still have that hat. I have a lot of hats, guys. Petty for five. We do have a cast system. Different races voted up. Ah, uh, we do kind of have a cast system. And the I Asians guess. are winning. Wait, are the Jews winning or are the Asians winning? Oh yeah, I really wonder. <laughs> Well, they're both doing very well. Uh, Professor Krieger for 39 says for uh, for 10, Suicide Squad, Vito, Dick Track, I'm in. I would watch Suicide Squad again. I have a lot to say about that movie. Sure, that first one? The yeah. shitty one? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's terrible. Yeah. Gut for 199, Vito is actually demented. <laughs> oh, is, this, is this where I started yeah, talking this is about? Where you started fucking Chad up. Kaczynski. <laughs> Clapchap for 199, Vito is the big bear. Cole Marklin for five. The biggest problem is the lack of research on the correlation between hot Cheeto consumption and teenage pregnancy. Okay. Patty for two says nobody says that about exercise and diet. A lot of people will tell you that like diet is like 90% of the equation. And yeah. That exor- yeah. But that's like huge. Then. And I want to eat like an idiot because that's oh. the only thing that's killing me, <laughs> keeping me from killing all these well, people. Well, then you have to do the other 10% <laughs> a lot. <laughs> or I could just keep eating until I die because it doesn't matter. Okay, do that. Like, that's also. <laughs> keep fucking crying about it. Not working out. I'm not crying about it. I'm just saying. Uh, gut for $1.99. You're no. having fights with black guys on Twitter. Yeah. Was that guy black? I don't see color. <laughs> Not for $1.99. No one who is fit told Vito not to exercise. <laughs> I didn't troll that guy on Twitter well, pretty you know, well. Vito. <laughs> Actually, it's all guy. I'm not worried about exercise. I did like that there's this conservative guy on Twitter. I don't even know who that guy is. Do you know who he is? No. But I basically was like, oh, something, something, you know, the fucking Democrats yeah. are pieces of shit. And I, I, and I posted, I'm like, well, no one's done more for the black man than Democrats. Yeah. And he's he's gotten like a thousand people being like, what did he say? What did he? What is this guy? Is this fake? Is this? I'm like, yeah, but you think that it's it's funny, but you also think it. No, I don't really <laughs> think that. <laughs> okay. I know. Look, I mean, we've done a lot. We they've done a lot. I'm Team <laughs> You didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I helped. Umpty Madu for five. The average specific heat of the human body is 3.6 kilo jiggers at my body weight. Increasing my body temperature by one F burns 49 cal- wait. calories. Calories. Take ice baths, Vito. Yeah. So your temperature uh, affects your fat burn. Yeah, this is a this is a life hack for yeah, you. Yeah, I'm also looking through this one to see where all the twos are. Yeah. Petty for five, just stop eating Vito. You can do it for at least a month. I wish. Uh, we're gonna refresh. See, get out your last super chats in now, folks. But what a show! Don't kill yourself. Don't blow up any buildings. Uh, Goaty McGoat phase for five. Do my workout plan, Vito. You don't have to change your diet. I okay. I saw this guy's workout plan. Do you want to see it? Yeah. Sure. I, 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 he worked very hard on a workout plan, and I said, there's no fucking way Vito will do that. And he said, well, I wasted two hours of my life then. Do you want to hear the... How many things do I got to do every day? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Let's start. We got to monetize it. Get Boogie to do a podcast about it. Well, okay. Um, I'm trying to find it in here. All I see is I'm Mr. trying to Girl eat more shit. fish. I bought a bunch of fish. Okay. Fish is good. I made a whole salmon filet and I just ate it all week. Finished workout. Here we go. This is what you have to do. Mm. Oh, shit. Open in. Open up in. Download. Did he leave time for me to play magic cards on the internet? Yeah. Good. Day one. Run, jog. Wait, I got to do different stuff on different days? <laughs> Shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Isn't that more exciting? Go so you're on. Not bored? No, because I can't Run. keep track of this shit. You can't. You can't have like a pill bottle that old people have with like a little fortune cookie thing in it that says what you have to do that day. Dick, I have one of those, and I just like stop taking the pills because I forget to refill the thing, and I like don't. I haven't taken any of the medication I've been prescribed for months because I forgot about what have you it. Been prescribed. I don't even remember. <laughs> 
What about setting up a calendar alert? Uh, I've like never... every day it texts you at, uh, at noon. Well, that doesn't work because my I wake up at a different time every day. 9, p- 9 p.m. then. I might be asleep. What if it texts you all day? Okay. Every hour. Every like hour a, a until I do it? Yeah. Run, jog, walk one and a half miles. Okay. Can you do that? Yeah. Bench press. Four sets. Oh, my God. I don't know why. I'd have to go to the gym to bench. Well, I guess I could do it on my back. Well, a I, don't, I don't have a weight per, uh, bench. So you'd have to go to the gym. Yeah. Are you, would you do that? I could sign up for a gym membership. Would you go to the gym? Yeah, I've gone to the gym. Uh, at one point, I used to go to the gym. Okay. Bench press, four sets, um, 14 reps, 12 reps, 8 to 10 reps, widest grip possible. Tw- okay. <laughs> It sounds very doable. Yeah, yeah. It's real important that you get exactly <laughs> the 14 right and then tw- it's very yeah. important for losing weight. Okay. Incline dumbbell press super set with overhead dumbbell press three sets. Is that like a, is that like a joke? Like you saying set a lot of times to fuck with me? No. Okay. Um, reps for both 12, 14, 12, 14, 8 to 10 should be till failure on last set always. Best if you're right about failure on all sets. Dips and dumbbell flies, super sets, three sets. Okay. So, okay. This is all the one day, right? Uh, this is day one. This is day one. <laughs> all right. 12 to 14 for, bo- okay, biceps, dumbbell curls, the highest well, that's weight. That's four weight exercises? Yeah, on one, day one. Okay. Yeah. And you got to run and jog. Okay. And I got to run a, a mile and a half. Day two, same running. Yeah. Standing barbell shoulder press superset with forward lateral raise, three sets. Well, you know I love my forward lateral <laughs> raise, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Three sets of Arnold Press superset with side. I mean, these le- are all. I'd have to look at like diagrams of all of these because I have no idea. What I they know. Are. I, yeah. I don't either. Can't you just say like bicep curl, a hundred? <laughs> <laughs> Push ups, upright 50. barbell <laughs> rows superset with halos. Okay, what is the difference between a set and a superset? What is the di- what does that mean? How what how when, how does a set become a superset? Triceps, triple superset, skull crushers, then I triceps. I just call it a superset to make it sound Push downs, cooler. then two bench dips. Uh, so you right. really. <laughs> Well, I have been meaning to <laughs> do more. Whose workout plan do you want to do, mine or this guy's? I would rather just see a bike for like There a, you go. Yeah. That's mine. Which is fine. Bike, 20 miles a day. Wow. <laughs> That's also not <laughs> <laughs> very likely. Abs. Three sets. Hanging knee raises till failure super set with inclined sit-ups till failure. Do one set of sit-ups with twists to each. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. I think I'm just supposed to do squats. <laughs> He's that seated row machine. Yeah. Man, you're going to be very busy at the gym. I know. That's the other. I'm like, I don't know, man. Four sets, bent over rows, super set with bent over rows, dumbbells, flies. I'm going to go to the gym and I'm going to go to everyone there and I'm going to go, hey, can you help me do my overfly super set <laughs> three kilogram <laughs> wide stance? And they're going to look at me like I'm a fucking idiot. Look, and that's, then I'm going to leave and eat a cake. <laughs> all right? Like, that's what's going to happen. <laughs> now, you're th- now you're done with excuse Wednesday. Me, excuse me. Where do I do the super fly dumbbell drop bench with twist. dip with a twist? Would I want to use this or this? Day four, a one-mile jog walk. Oh, one so of those. you shave off a half mile. Mm, Got to relax a little. Legs, squats, look at the ceiling while going down. Keeps your back straight. Huh, you squ- squats? You're going to fucking All this would be great if knees. I had like a, like a trainer, I guess, to like. Well, if you were already in shape. Yeah. This is brutal. Well, I couldn't do this thing shit. Is I don't think I could. Yeah, I think my arms would fall apart after the first. Weighted or unweighted forward reps. lunges, superset with no, you don't do not fuck up your knees. Hamstring machine with calf machine. There you go. Let's get a rowing machine. Okay. Everybody likes rowing. Okay. Well, I'll send you this. Don't. Well, okay. I mean, <laughs> I'll really print it out and live my life by it. <laughs> Cook all your own meals. Oh, one of those. Avoid vegetable, canola, and soybean oil. 
Whoa! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Seed oil disrespecter here. Butter is fine. Yeah. Uh, eat two grams of protein powder per pound of body weight. I'm not eating protein powder. Come on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Tastes like chocolate. I, I yeah, eat but I'm that. saying like I'd rather when I just eat chicken at that point. Uh, best carb is sweet potatoes with no sugar. Second best is rice. Third is regular potato. Worst is bread and pasta. All right, so eat pasta. Eat or more meat. Probably meant to eat. Yeah, I just bought a bunch of fish. I'll eat a bunch of cans of tuna. We'll see what happens. Okay. We'll re hit refresh. <laughs> Maybe there's some more <laughs> super chats. Uh. Thank you, Goaty McGoatface, for your long and confusing uh, workout plan. Uh, okay. Okay. David Gomez for five. Big head veto. Large noggin veto with all the shiny dome. That's true. Gut for one and a nine. Flat bill hats are for PDF files. Well, I better curve that brim down. Mm hmm. Petty for two, fat brain veto. Okay, goodbye, everybody. Don't forget, put up our supporters, oh, the shit. graphic. Can you imagine if you didn't put up the fucking image after everybody keeps yelling at me about yeah. not updating it? Whoops. I've updated the image. See, Dick can't find out his problem. There. I'll tell you this right now. There you go. There are currently 31 veto file pluses. Oh. And 34 dickhead pluses. So, Veto File Nation. Wow. Come on. Or if a couple dickheads want to, you know, give it up for the real guy holding this show together. <laughs> brings in all the great tips. Brings yeah. in all the good problems. Yeah. Brings in all the great stingers. <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking I'm for? I'm looking for one of those cat stock tip vetoes. Stock right? tip veto. Yeah. Day trader veto. Always with the hot stock tip. <laughs> Stocks are doing all right. Are they now? Well, oh. they've they've stopped cratering. Stopped cratering. That's nice. Wait for them to go back up. <clears throat> I bought some bonds. Did you? Yeah. It's probably smart. I'm done. Just fucking just wait it out. Yeah. We'll see what happens. Regardless, the only way to keep us alive is to go to patreon.com slash biggest problem. <laughs> or else Vito will go on a shooting rampage. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, if all the money runs out, what else do I got to do? See, that's what Boogie's problem is. He's like, I'm going to kill myself. I'm like, well, are you going to kill a bunch of other people first? Have some fun with it? Oh, he's such a bitch. Yeah. Beto, he wants to go uh, out as like a hero, though. He just, I don't even, he's not even like a real person. He's just, if you poked a hole in him, like all these like anxiety and manipulation demons would just go out and he would go and like go into he's, a little bag. He's like the, he reminds me of the guys you see on like, uh, like hoarders or like uh, what's that show where they have the addictions? Yeah, intervention. intervention. Yeah, just a million excuses as to why they can't change. Unlike me, who all my excuses as to why I can't exercise are perfectly valid and based okay. in reality. <laughs> all right, goodbye, everyone. Dig the exercise bike out.